Okay, a neat bump to tin snatch I'd like to teach you is a forearm bump into the tin. Okay. Just like that. So it's the forearm bump that we've learned into the tin. So obviously bottle tin, bottle right hand, tin left hand, whatever you're comfortable with. If you'd like to do it the other way, I'd, I'd say go for it. So you're going to hit the hit the bottle, bump. We're just going to do a 360 with a bump in the middle and you give it a little, are we doing a 360? No, we're doing a, we're doing a half spin with a 360 after the bump. So there's going to be a bump and then a 360. Put a nice back spin on the bottle, let it hit your arm, and it'll fall directly into the tip. It's a lot of fun. Have a good time with this one. This is not difficult to learn. It's just a matter of getting used to these bumps. If you're not used to those yet, it might be a little difficult. And kind of getting an eye for getting the bottle inside the tip. Because obviously it doesn't just fly right in there. So, just get out there and practice that. Um, if there's one key or catch, I would say that it has to be keeping your eye on the bottom of the bottle. Um, like I've said previously, we, you keep your eye on what you want to make contact with. And so, in this case, you want pretty much to make contact with the bottom of the bottle and the bottom of the tip. So, if you keep your eye on the bottom of the bottle through the bump, and then after the bump, as it rotates through the air, you're going to have a lot more success getting it to land inside the tin. And that's just kind of a neat little trick. Something you can pull behind the bar. It's pretty safe. Not a lot's going to go wrong with that one. The only thing is that you don't want to do that. Like I said, it's a nice safe trick. Um, not too much is going to go wrong with it, but you, it's definitely one of those tricks that you don't want to do with too much liquor in the bottle. If you have too much in the bottom of the bottle, it's going to spray out all over and probably get all over you and you might look kind of silly. Shoot out there, practice that, and I'll show you another one in the next segment. Three, two, one.